A pendulum is simply weight suspended from a pivot such that it can swing freely. A pendulum moves to and fro about a point and hence it shows oscillatory motion. The time taken by a pendulum to complete one oscillation is called its time period. Let us calculate the time period for a given pendulum. Here we have a pendulum and a stop clock. Now we will count the time it takes to complete 10 oscillations. Swing the bob to one side and leave it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Oscillation is a motion that repeats itself regularly. So it took 13 seconds to complete 10 oscillations. So the time period for the pendulum is 1.3 seconds per oscillation. Now we have shortened the length of the pendulum. We will see the effect on the time period. Let's swing the pendulum and start the stop clock. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Now it took 8.5 seconds to complete 10 oscillations. So the time period for the shorter pendulum is 0.85 seconds per oscillation. Hence we note that the time period of a pendulum depends on the length of the pendulum.